teaching tonight? Well, I'm assuming you are correct. So, Lonnie, what kind of dizziness do you like to do? Well, Eva, I usually enjoy dances that are not glitter and such. <laughs> uh, okay, let me go check my CDs to see if I have some good glitter and such. CDs? Hold yourself in the century, Eva!
Rebecca Black's Friday. <laughs>
great balls of fire. You're such a creep. <laughs> Oh, 
then God doesn't live here. Our lives are sort of the sun too hot to live by. There are ghosts of kids who are still alive, toting M16s with trembling hands. While we dream ourselves stars on Survivor, another missile sets fire in the base of the locket of a mother whose son needed money for college. And she swears she can feel this photograph first. How many wars will it take us to learn that only the dead return? The rest remain forever caught between worlds of shrapnel shatters body, a three-year-old girl. To welcome McDonald's, can I take your order? The mortar of sanity from stumbling home to a home that will never be home again. Eli doesn't know if he can ever write a poem again. One third of the homeless men in this country are veterans. And we have the nerve to support our troops with pretty yellow ribbons while giving nothing but dirty looks to their outstretched hands. Tell me what land of the free sets free its 18 year old kids into green war zones, holds them like missiles, then returns their bones in the middle of the night so no one can see. Each Death, swept beneath the carpet and hidden like dirt. Each life a promise we never kept. Jeff Lucy came back from Iraq, hung himself in his parents' basement in the garden house. The night before he died, he spent 45 minutes in his father's lap, rocking like a baby, rocking like. Thank <laughs> you. 
one solid hour. A live broadcast of random little fire. The more I try to ignore it, the more my brain focuses on it. But it could be worse. I could be the flight attendant. Every time she walks past the two women, they both shout out, Yes! <laughs> it's an uncontrollable reflex. Yes! Can we get a beverage? <laughs> this is perhaps the fifth time that they have asked this. I'm sorry, says the flight attendant with incredible patience. But we are not allowed to serve beverages until after we take off. This answer never satisfies the women who do not seem to be fully aware of the fact that the plane is still on the ground. <laughs> they think that the flight attendant has a bad temper, and they discuss this in what they believe is a whisper. Oh, see, it's just very rude. Yeah. They should fire her. Yeah. But it's supposed to be a beverage servant. Miss! <laughs> in general that I myself am not a flight attendant <laughs> because I would kill somebody no later than my second day. Recently, I sat on a bunk, crowded flight and watched a 40-ish flight attendant, both arms occupied with used dinner trays, struggling down the aisle, and in a mean, irritated voice, the man said, and I quote, what? Can I get a beverage here, like Baker's and Jay? Hun. She smiled, not with her eyes, of course, and said, I'll be with you as soon as I can, sir. Sir. I'd be with him, all right. I'd come up behind him <laughs> and strangle him with the movie headphone cords. That's <laughs> tight enough for you, sir.
Hit it, Margie. Yeah. 